right, so today we're gonna do number nine. Um, I don't know what it is. I just tried to hook you one way or another here. And, oh God, these things are so hard to get open. Let's see what I have. If I can get my fat sausage fingers in here. It's a red wine. It is the Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot. Stay tuned. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So, uh, screw top plus one. Uh, this is a seventy dollars a box. Uh, I paid about still about eleven and a half dollars per full sized wine, seven hundred fifty milliliters. But as you see, there's twenty four one hundred eighty seven milliliters. I'm not gonna do the math, um, but it comes out to, like I said, about eleven and a half dollars per normal bottle. So, from a color standpoint on this wine, you are a medium ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. Right on the nose. Man, oh man. All of these Cabernet blends that they have on here smell just like the Cabernet, man. You like this black, black cherry, slight plum, a little bit of a touch of blackberry, and then like clove and vanilla. Man, this is, that's disappointing. I was hoping that there'd be some sort of difference here. And the alcohol is noticeable. It's 13.8%, which is also the weird thing about these wines. The higher the ABV, the less I smell them. The lower the ABV, the more I smell them. And I I just don't get why that's happening. I just don't. It, it's, it's, a, it's a weird thing going on with these wines, and I don't know what to say about it other than that, except let's actually taste it. However, I will say this one is more palatable than a lot of the other reds I've tried. Yeah, so in terms of um, fruit, all those fruit elements are there. Medium plus tannins, medium finish, uh, medium intensity on the nose, medium intensity on the palate. And there is this weird thing where the alcohol is not there, hits me hard on the mid palate very briefly, and then flies away. And I don't taste it at the end, which I like because on the nose, it's out the alcohol is a pretty dominant note here but i'm not getting it well, yeah and the, the same chalky tannins as the cab it's very like chalky element to it i don't know how to say it other than that even it has like a slight chalk note in terms of the flavor how does it blick so in terms of balance i give you half a point the tannins are a little bit weird i i would like a little bit more body and structurally i would like the alcohol to be a little bit more integrated but uh i mean we can't always get what we want here so i'm going to give you half a point uh length medium finish half a point intensity medium overall half a point and complexity uh, i'm going to give you half a point because i am getting the fruit and i am getting like the vanilla is there i am noticing that kind of like that clove allspice type thing that i'm kind of getting with some of the other cabs is there and so ultimately, that works out. Uh, in the end, that adds up to two full points. I'm gonna give you good. Out of all the red wines I've had so far, uh, the Cabernet Merlot is the one that is not disappointing me. Anyway, this has been Super With Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the California Lodi Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot blend from Bougie Wines in their advent calendar? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.